loves, it's Sam. So today I have my product empties for April. <laughs> How to think about that. This year, where is it going? Is it just me or is it anyone else? Like, I don't know where this year has gone so far. It's just been crazy. So, um, I've actually got a good little mixture. Now, I did have quite a lot of other stuff. But Jay cleaned the house for me when I was gone on my trip and threw the stuff away that I had been saving so he didn't realize that I was saving them. So there was more stuff but that's okay. So this is the stuff that didn't get thrown away. So the very first thing is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ash Blonde. You guys know I've been using this ever since I ran out of my MAC Lingering. I still prefer the MAC Lingering over this one. I really feel like it just glides on a lot easier, whereas I feel like with this one you have to work a lot harder. And sometimes it can tend to look a bit ashy towards the end once you put like a shadow over. But it is still very good. What I love about it compared to the um, MAC Lingering is that it does have the brush on the end so that you can brush your hair out first without having to get a, sec a second brush for that. So that's what's really nice. And then you just twist it up like that. So I think these are like 16 bucks at Ulta. So, you know, it's a decent price. It's not too bad. And it does work really well for, you know, the coloring. It matches my roots really well. So it's still a very good liner I really or a brow pencil. I really like it. Laura Geller Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara, which I really, really loved. I used this for a good couple of months, I'd say. I think so. Um, I probably could still get some more use out of it, but it is starting to get a little bit dry. And, um, you know, it's just not giving the lashes what they normally look like. So I think it's time to retire it. But I definitely will be... I, I would definitely repurchase this for sure because it's an awesome mascara. It really does give you those dramatic lashes. Um, it's just really, really nice. It doesn't like leave any bits all over my face. I really, really recommend this. So yeah, Glam Lash, definitely a win for sure. The next thing I used up was my Garnier Clean Plus Nourishing Cleansing Oil for dry skin. Even though I have oily skin, this still works really, really well at removing. I just use it to remove all of my makeup. Other than my eye makeup, I used a separate thing for that because the oil tends to make me have that film. But for the rest of my like foundation, lipstick, blush, neck, everything, I use this. If you guys haven't seen my skincare routine, I will. Um, it's like a get unready with me skincare routine. I will link that in the description box below so you guys can go watch and see exactly what I use for my skincare. But I really love this stuff. It's like 7 bucks at Target or Walmart. I'm on my second bottle right now. Um, it smells really, really good. It just dissolves your makeup instantly. It's super duper awesome. I love this stuff. That's a really good drugstore option. The eye makeup remover that I used up is the Neutrogena Oil Makeup oil-free eye makeup remover. Now I noticed towards the end of this I started getting a really weird like dry ring around my eyes and it happened to my sister as well so I don't know if it was just this batch or if my skin had just become sometimes my skin goes crazy with products if I've been using them for so long but I've been using this for a really long time and I just noticed my eyelids were getting really dry and like leaving like a white kind of dry residue. It was kind of weird. So anyway, I ended up using it up, but I've switched to the L'Oreal one that I used to use a long time ago. I found one, so I got it. Um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this actually again because now that um, I've been using my L'Oreal, I realize how much I liked that one compared to this one. So... Hmm. But I have recommended it in the past. I mean, it does remove your makeup well. The next thing I've used up is my Hidden Fantasy perfume by Britney Spears. Love this perfume. It smells so good. There's like a tiny little splash. Let's see if I can get one last splash out of it. Um, this smells so good. It's like a really sweet... Oh, I just ate it. Ugh. Sweet but kind of sexy, um, spicy scent but more sweet. I don't know. It's really yummy. I love it. It's one of my favorite perfumes actually. And it's really great for winter, fall, it doesn't matter what season you're in or what occasion. I feel like it always smells good. Like it's just one of those really good like all around perfumes. Plus I think you can find these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross for like 20 bucks. So it's super cheap. Um, I used up my Bain de Terre Sweet Almond Oil Long and Healthy Conditioner. This is paraben free. I don't like this one as much as my regular uh, Passion Flower. But I did like it. It was nice. I can't... I was expecting it to be a little bit better considering it was for long and healthy. It was still a really nice shampoo and conditioner. 
Um, and I still have some of the shampoo left because I always go through conditioner way quicker. But it's just not quite as moisturizing as the Passion Flower. So if you are someone who has like you know, tangly hair, I would recommend just going with the Passion Flower from Bain to rather than the one specifically for long and healthy, although it is nice and it does smell really good. It smells just like almond, like, yeah, like an almond, <sighs> it smells like tanning cream with almond. It smells really good. Okay, and then last but not least, me and Jay both use this up and my sister because she likes it too. Um, this is my second or third. I don't know. I can't remember. It's either my second or third of the Moroccan Oil Body Souffle Body Moisturizer. First of all, the packaging is so cute. It matches my top. I didn't even pull in that. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's seriously the best body moisturizer, body cream, body whatever I've ever used. It is not great for traveling because this is so heavy. It's a very bulky, heavy bottle. But if you're someone who doesn't travel, then it's no big deal. Um, it makes you smell like a rich person, like I've said before. It just has that really like... I can't think of the smell. It's just a really kind of clean, like, just posh. I don't know why I think of that, but I just think of, like, my aunt. Like, she's just really posh and, like, you know, doing well in life. I don't know why it, it just smells like that to me. Um, it, it leaves a beautiful glow on your skin without being greasy. It's nice and thin, so it moisturizes really well, but it, or it absorbs really well, but it moisturizes as well. Uh, amazing. Love this stuff. It is a little pricey but a little bit does go a long way. Okay, I think that's everything. Well, that's everything that hasn't been thrown away. So, um, this was actually a funner one than normal because it was a little bit of makeup, a little bit of perfume, everything. Uh, what have you been using up this month? What did you love that you think, oof, yes, she needs to know about this? I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to, eh, to, eh, to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook. I've been really trying to be, um, like really get back to people on Twitter. So if you want like super fast interaction, Twitter is the best place to get a hold of me. Um, and then I'm always posting pictures on Instagram and all of our, if you're ever having a problem where our videos aren't showing up or our vlogs aren't showing up, always check Facebook. We'll always be posting them there. Sometimes YouTube is having issues again. They're doing crazy stuff and it's just, I don't know, going all crazy. So um, keep that in mind and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.